大家好,我是Oliver So as time goes on, everybody's going to be getting older and we're going to get more frail and weaker and our cardiovascular health will also be on the decline. That's just the part of aging. However, there is still things that we can do that can slow down the rate of decline. As I've mentioned in previous videos, exercise is a big part of that, specifically when I mentioned VO2 max testing. But in this video, we'll speak specifically about Coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10, also known as ubiquinol or ubiquinone. I'll be discussing three main points, and that will be how powerful of an antioxidant it is, especially how it combats chronic disease and slows down aging. Two, it also really improves heart health. And number three, how it benefits exercise. Okay, number one, it's a powerful antioxidant. With the daily life of receiving so many UV rays, radiation, also from all the toxic substances, from processed foods that we're eating, or even air pollution, and just aging in general, our bodies need ways to combat all these negative effects. Antioxidants is one way that our bodies can combat that. And although it is powerful, it is not enough. This is why we intake them by eating lots of fruits and vegetables, which contain a lot more antioxidants. But it's also really good as in supplement form. So CoQ10 actually is a very powerful antioxidant for oxidized fats. And this is something we talked about when we eat all these bad oils. Okay, point number two is that it really helps improve cardio health. And so it's very likely after being infected by COVID-19 that it's really fast forwarded a lot of our chronic diseases that we already have or that we were developing to have. One key measure for your cardio health is your blood pressure. And that's basically the force of your blood as it travels through your blood vessels, that force exerting on your arterial walls. Now, a high blood pressure is something that's going to be beyond 130 systolic and higher than maybe 90 for a diastolic number. And this is really bad because heart disease is the number one killer in the world. Now, CoQ10 is actually a molecule that your body produces naturally itself as well. But it actually helps retain another special molecule called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is actually used in many processes in the body. But the most important one is that it actually helps to vasodilate, meaning the blood vessels expand. This allows more blood to flow through, reducing your overall blood pressure. Number three. Benefits to exercise. Now, it's true that actually after exercising, especially rigorously, your body produces a lot of reactive oxygen species in the skeletal muscles. Now, your body actually does a really good job cleaning it up anyways. However, if it's not enough or you have too much oxidative stress from just your lifestyle, then you might need more support. Now, CoQ10 has actually been shown in studies to lower the amount of oxidative stress that's produced from doing strength exercises. Other studies actually also show that can really enhance your aerobic capacity during exercise, as well as reducing your overall fatigue. It's pretty rare that there's a lot of convincing evidence for a supplement that has so many benefits to your health, as well as very little or none side effects. Now, the recommended dosage is around 100 milligrams per day, and it should be taken with food as it helps to absorb CoQ10 into your body. It's also found a lot naturally in meat and fish. So if you're really confident that you have a well-balanced diet, then you may not need it. However, if you don't think you do, then this might help. So that's it, guys. I hope you found that useful. As always, please leave any questions or comments below, and I'll see you next time.